biocultural is that element of diversity which is in its essence both biological and cultural. We cannot understand it only as a cultural phenomenon or a biological phenomenon. So it's a variety of corn which has its own particular genetics of course but at the same time it's cultural in the sense that it is harvested and selected and stored and planted in a particular way by a particular community and indeed would go extinct if that community ever stopped doing that. So the biocultural exists at the individual species level. It also exists at species relationships. It exists, for example, in a species like the honey guide, a bird which across Africa guides people to bees nests which it can find very well. The bird has evolved ways of calling to signal to the honey hunter and the honey hunter has evolved ways of calling and making noises to signal to the bird so that the two can communicate in the location of these nests. Biocultural diversity also exists at landscape level in the sense that over the course of time people's systems of managing a landscape are both shaped by that landscape and in turn shape that landscape so that how people work out the distribution of say water and nutrients through an agro ecosystem from the mountain top down to the valley over a long period of time becomes a biocultural phenomenon. We talk about these custodians of biocultural diversity, the, the individuals or the local institutions who see it as their responsibility to maintain the richness of a particular piece of biocultural heritage. Let's get resources and respect into those people's hands. It's really important to engage a number of actors in processes of change who may be operating at different levels and in different ways and perhaps even in some kind of creative tension. It's from that that powerful solutions and diverse systems evolve.